what, what the mate is talking about. So now, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting my, uh, I'm getting, you know, acquainted into the business, but I ain't really doing no cool shit. I'm just doing America most want all this old weird shit. So I finally get an audition for Boys in the Hood. I kill it. I, Boys in the Hood. So I meet John Singleton. I do the thing. I go to the Cuba Gooden thing. You know, when he's like, I'm tired of this shit. Right. <laughs> all that shit. So I do the whole little thing for, um, uh, for ice up uh, on uh, for for John Singleton, he tells yeah, me yeah, the tears and everything, yeah, the tears. everything. <laughs> 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 yeah. I'm doing the whole, I'm doing the whole nine and shit. I think I'll get the part. So I didn't, I didn't get the part. So I'm like, I'm laid up with with my high school girlfriend and the and the commercial come on. Rule number two, don't trust nobody. I'm like, oh shit, I missed the movie of the decade. I said, oh shit. So I'm like depressed, don't want to go see the movie. I'm like, that's supposed to be me. That's supposed to be me. So then I'm late. So crazy. So I'm laid up in the house and the phone rings. And um, uh, my agent called me and say, uh, hey, they want to see you for this movie called Minister Society. And I'm like, I'm so bitter about it. I'm like, what the fuck they want to see? Oh, man, I ain't, I don't want to, man, I ain't tripping. I don't even want to go to the <laughs> I <didn't, laughs> I'm, I'm bitter. I, I, um. I don't comb my hair. I don't I don't brush my teeth. I don't do nothing. I'm just irritated. I'm I tell my homeboy to take me. He don't have no brakes on his car. Like I mean no brakes. The motherfucker sound like a train. We no brakes, no gas, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so we so we got <laughs> so we, we gotta stop two blocks before we get to the red light to even stop at the motherfucking light. We got a two we you know what I'm saying? We 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 like a train. So we finally get to the to the to the uh to the audition of Minister Society and I didn't even have to I didn't even have to audition. I get there and I'm in the lobby and the Hughes brothers come out and he say, Alan Hughes, he say, Nigga, we've been looking for you forever. I said, huh? Nigga, I start wiping the cold. I said, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I start wiping <laughs> I start wiping the cold and shit out of my eye and the whole nine or whatever. And uh, they said, yeah, we've been, we've been looking for you for a long time. So I'm like, they said, we seen you in Rhythm Nation and we seen you in America Most Wanted. So we knew that you can, you can be uh, vulnerable. Yeah. But we also knew you could be street. Mm -hmm. See, when they seen Rhythm Nation and, 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 um, and the America's Most Wanted, that was, they were sold. They were like, okay, this, he know how to. And those are polar opposites. Yeah. And, yeah. and, it's, and, it's, and it's L.A. Because the yeah. studio wanted the studio wanted Cuba Gooding Jr. and Omar Epps. That's who they wanted to play Kane. That's who, that's who they wanted. Mm -hmm. And the Hughes brothers and the Hughes brothers fought for me. They said, "No, we want him." Right. And the studio was like, uh, "So the point is, Boys in the Hood." I was happy I did Minutes Over Boys. That, that I, I I like Minutes better. But my point right. was, I thought that damn, I missed out on Boys. But then Minutes was more of a movie that I felt like had, to me, um, I, gave me more of an impact that I wanted for my community. What the talking about? Yeah.